Hello, good morning everyone. For those who saw my previous video uh, yesterday, where we explained how to use, how to define a trade setup using three lines, today we are going to review a derivation from from that using just only two lines. For more details about this setup, please go to the end of this video. Now let's see a market replay to check how this worked yesterday and today. Order filled. Target filled. Order filled. Order filled. Order filled. Target 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 filled. Order filled. Order target filled. Order filled. Target filled. Twenty minutes later. Order filled. Target filled. Order filled. Target filled. Or target filled. Or order target or tar or target order filled. Order filled. Order filled. Order filled. Target filled. Order f target filled. Order filled. Target filled. Order filled. Target filled. Or target filled.
as we can see this system looks like working very good we will need to check it for a few days more I, I will save this template on the shared folder so all of you can download and test it let's use the name HMA crossover linear regression slope this is for a crude oil chart of 50 ticks hope this setup has been interesting for you and you don't need to follow it to the to the exact way if you find if you test it and find any good settings or instrument to use it please post below this video any comment please post also below this video and don't forget to click on like thank you everyone bye bye Okay, for those who are interested in the details of this setup, don't forget that the template is on the shared folder. Let's make a small review about yesterday's setup using three lines. The black line is a linear regression and we use the slope of the line to filter signals. This histogram is the slope, the slope of a linear regression of period 33. I, I am using a threshold for the linear regression inside marker plus and we only enter long when the slope is bigger than 0 0.004 in positive and shorts when it is uh, lower than 0 0.004 negative we can see more detail on the histogram for example this long is only taken if the slope is positive and bigger than 0 0.004 for example on this bar no, not this one because on this bar the slope is lower for the shorts it is the same this short signal has a slope of minus 0 0.009 so it is ok now the trigger signals we have two options with a crossover on this example we are using an HMA but instead of a, a crossover we are looking at a slope which is the same as, as looking at the cross of two exact same lines but display displaced one bar this was also explained on another video if we take another HMA with the same period but displaced one bar and we check where them they close they cross one each other we can see that they cross when there is a change on the slope so it is the same setup explained yesterday where the two fast lines are two HMAs both equal but one displaced one bar to make it easier we use only one HMA and we check at the slope with the slope paint indicator this is the slope and we are using a threshold of 0 0.01 to trigger signals Point zero 0.01 is a relatively high number so we need a big slope to trigger a signal let's find an example 
here we can see we are in short mode this is the triangle I will remove the extra HMA this, this triangle is happens when the slope is positive and bigger than 0 0.01 on this bar it is positive but it is lower than the threshold so we don't have a signal there same happens on this short the, uh, we don't have neither a long signal here because th this slope is lower than the threshold and we only get a long signal later so with, with the threshold we can remove all the noisy signals and only get the main signals when there is a slope change on the HMA. So the setup is the same that we saw in the previous video. The trigger is a, an HMA crossover, both HMAs with the same period, displaces one bar. Same as, as looking at the slope change of the HMA. And the filter is the slope of a linear regression. Any question, any comment, please post below this video. Thank you everyone. Bye bye.